Okay, that worked. So I'll, I'll wait and let everybody just spin in. And I had internet and everything, but it wouldn't be a picture. So these are the pores from the other day, how they dried. They're not cleaned yet. But they did get a little bit more cell action as they sat. And then this is, now this one I think I liked how it really turned out. Like these little turquoise areas popped up that weren't there. And um, some in here. Hi, Ange. But I think they turned out pretty. But the two that I'm super excited about and I was going to embellish, but they're 10 by 20. I'm going to let them finish curing. And I'm going to leave them just like they are. I was going to put something. Thank you, Allie. I thought there for a minute I was going to have to go to Ustream. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Bryn. So these are how they turned out. I do have a little pink down in here in the ocean occasionally. Oh, I just stuck my finger in a wet spot. Need to not touch it, not touch it, not touch it. Hi, Cindy Lou Who? So, like I said, I was going to add like a blue heron and a lighthouse or something. I couldn't decide how to add or what to add. And then I decided, no, I was so happy with them as they are that I'm just going to leave them alone. And uh, I'll probably sign them on the side and they can be sold as a pair or individually. So I'm going to set those down on the tip floor here. And if you didn't see it, these were the other two from the other day. Which I think this one came out really good. Um, I like the turquoise in it. And there's some metallic, which you can't really see. And I think this one came out pretty. Now, I might put a blue heron on this one, is what I'm thinking. Is because this kind of looks like a wetland. And this sort of looks like the sky. So if I put some reeds in here and a, and a blue heron, and I might do that in colored pencil and then collage it on there, is what I'm thinking. So I have paints mixed and I'm going to start with a 10 by 20. Whether this is going to work or not, I don't know. I saw that they've been doing the swipes. This is trying to peel. Look at this, y'all. Pieces of that could be used somehow. Some of this is really pretty. If you could punch it. And use it. So I'm going to save that. It's really greasy. I'd have to, like, it's going to have to walk. It's dry. It's, it's, it's a little damp on this side in a couple places from the other day. But I'm going to set that aside and let that just dry. But it's the back side that I like. So 
so well. All right. So I saw some people doing pours with, um, they're doing the swipe with a paper towel. So I want to try that. So I have some metallics and I have black paint ready. So I have several metallics. I'm just going to put some rows of the metallics. I want to save some of that blue. Right, and then I have, I want to need to give that a little stir. And all of these are paint and Floetrol with just a touch of silicone. And a little bit of water. Save a little bit of that copper. All right, let's put just a little bit of a metallic blue here and there. And this is not metallic, but I'm just going to put pop of that bright magenta. All right. I'm going to put a large amount of black. I'm even gonna, I want the black on the edges, so. I'm going to push some of that over the edge just to cover that edge down here. Okay, then I'm going to add more. I think I'm going to add it up the sides and on this end. This will kind of get that the side of that. The same thickness.
Now, is CB here? Hi, Norma. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Miss Janet. Your page turned out so cute. I was going to see if Joan or CB were here, if they had done the used the paper towel for the swipe. Or not. What I'm not sure is I'm not sure if you're supposed to get the paper towel wet. So we're going to try it not wet. Okay, Norma, did you do it? Did you wet the bottom edge or not? Did you dampen the edge or not? I'm waiting for Norma. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought, but I couldn't remember. So if I just take a spray bottle and just spray the edge. of the paper towel, right? It helps move the paint. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay. So, the only thing is I have some spots, but I think I can tilt it and take care of those. Or I can hit it with a, yeah, I knew it would be, I wanted it to be black at the bottom. Okay, so let's try tilting this way and trying to close those gaps. I don't wanna tilt it too much. I wanna tilt it back the other way. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it down. Okay, and I'm going to tilt. I'm going to slowly just keep tilting it in different directions. I want to stretch some of those cells anyways. Okay, that closed that. Trying to get it over the edge without zigzagging too much.
I'm pretty pleased with that. I need to take care. Of, just a second. I need to take care of my hands real quick. And I got this paper towel right here. And these are all metallic, so they should dry really well. Okay, let's try a couple things. So, all right, I'm just taking a little paper towel. I don't like where there's the black on these sides. I think it's a little softer. Now, I'm wondering if I can put a little gold right there and take some black. Swipe it. A little more gold because I don't, I think I got too much black. When you use the black, I will say it is messier, but that's the way I'm going to do a swipe from now on. Definitely. I'm going to stick my hand down in that jar. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I have a big mason jar. And that may be the way to get my hands a little cleaner without going out of the room. All right, let's, I don't think we need to torch it, but let's just torch it just a little bit. Just to make sure there's And I see a couple bald spots on the side. This might need a peacock head done in metallics. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of this black. There's a couple places. That it had a few bald spots. I 
And I think I'm even gonna put a little bit of that teal right here. I'm just hitting the sides here and there. I'm going to turn it around, double check. Looks pretty good over here. I'm afraid this might be a little thick. So I'm going to take the palette knife and just push a little of that off. And I don't care if some of that comes through. Okay. It was just a little thick there. All right, and I'm going to hit that end with the heat gun again. That's still a little thin right in there. And then let's put a little bit of the gold in there too. And I'm just going to let those drops stay on the surface. And just hit them with the torch. Just trying to get these little spots. All right, I think that's good. Let's move this onto the floor over here to dry. And Actually, I think it was just as easy to pour on the wax paper. Yeah, that one will end up drying. Um, the torch, mine is acting up. It's, it doesn't want to fill. And it doesn't want to ignite, which irritates the, the Jesus out of me. All right, let me... 
Okay, let's try. Let's get a cup. We'll do a flip cup. Let's use some white first. And I'll put some of that light teal. Let's use some of that metallic kind of a blue color. And let's use some of that vibrant pink. And let's put some more white. And then I have a lime green color. And let's go with a little bit of the turquoise. Let's even throw in a little bit of black in there. Let's see what we get. Oh, that was bad. It's going to be a blob. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out in a minute. I don't even care if that ends up being gray. And copper goes to pink. Put some more of that magenta. White. And then let's add a shot of a darker green and see what we get with that. And we'll even add a little bit of this coral. You can be relatively neat. If you do it in a container and you have, if you have it up on the push pins or the cups, you can wear gloves. I just don't like latex gloves. There's that glob of black. Let's get that out of there. Okay, put that black paint in there and get rid of that. Let's torch that. We're getting some good cells. That white and that black with the pink went purple. Okay, so I like this turquoise a lot. Not so wild about that coral. corner there. And I'm going to hit this corner here. Trying to get it to not drip as much before I try to bring it down. Still a lot of black.
Okay, what do we got? There is a little bit I need to get out right in here. Today is just a messy day. All right, let's torch that. I'm getting some small cells. Which we might stretch here in a minute. All right. And there's still a bit thick right here. Let's pour this way. I'd like to get rid of some of that green. I think I like that a little better. I'm going to torch. That green is popping. against that black. All right, I think that one's done. It's got pretty cell formation up close. I'll hold it up to the camera for you in a second. Let me put it in a tray and then I can lift it closer. All right, the camera's going to start doing all that again. Just a second. All right, let me turn off the autofocus. I had turned it off, but then with all the problems. All right. Let me just a second. We're going to have to focus on this. And then I'm going to turn the auto focus on. So hopefully it doesn't flicker. Sometimes when I pour or jelly print, it doesn't know what to focus on. That should keep it from flickering. Okay. 
And you know what? Let's try to do. I'm not saving these um, paints on here. They get real muddy, but I'm going to just try to minimize what's on the table. And I'm going to go back to the tray. I waste less with the tray. It's not paint, but painful. Okay. All right, let's do another one. All right. Let's not do any black in this one. Yeah, you can dry, but the skin's dry. I just. All right, so let's try a little bit of white again. Let's do the rest of the copper. Finish that up. Get rid of that. All right. And let's try some of that turquoise. And a little pale turquoise. And a little bit of the darker green. Shot of that light green. Let's do some more white. Let's add a little bit of that magenta pink in there. All right, that should. We'll see. The copper is going to do kind of like that coral, so I may not like it with the greens and the blues. I don't have a violet made today. I was, that purple was sort of taken over on a lot of those. Pink may get lost in this one. We'll roll the way up and try to get some of that pink. Okay, let's go that way. It's going to be hard not to lose that pink. Okay. I'm going to put some paint up here on the edge.
This is definitely different colors for me. Let me put some turquoise mix up here. Okay, let's put Some of that turquoise right here. And I'm gonna swipe just I'm just swiping a little bit to kind of make a clean mix. Now this one may need some work. Let's torch it and see. Because sometimes, like, if I get some cells in some of these areas, That one, I'm not unhappy with it. Like I said, it's not my typical colors. It's that copper went really peach. And it may dry more metallic when it dries. But it went really pink. Let me, hold, let me put it in a tray and then I'll hold that one up. So if you see up close, this is the problem with autofocus being off. I may have to turn it back on. It may just have to flicker every once in a while. More of a copper color. In fact, do we need to take a little bit? There's not a lot of copper left, but we may need to add some more copper veins.
in a couple places. Okay, let me because that'll dry metallic. All right, so let me hit that with the heat gun right there. And it'll get some cells in it, so it'll be more organic. I think that's better. That puts a little bit. Oh, I said heat gun, but I meant torch. All right, so let me put that one up and I have one more ready to pour. And that'll be about it on our paints today, anyways. And my space to. Okay. Cup. Let's... I'm gonna add a little water to this black. I got a big mess over here. Let me wipe that off my table. I'll get a, a mess I don't want. I think when I try to mix a bigger batch of white, or black, I need to do it in two cups because I don't think it fully gets mixed is part of the problem. And this master touch is a little on the thick side anyways. All right. So let's uh, do the light green. And then let's pour the rest of the metallic green or metallic teal on top of there. Okay, that can go in the trash. Let's do, actually, I don't think I want to do any white. Let's do a shot of the light turquoise. All right, let's do. A shot of black. All right, let's do this blue that's a darker metallic. Okay, 
Okay, we'll get rid of that. And let's do the light green again. Get rid of that. Stacking some of my cups that I'm done with. Might be a little bit more light blue left in there. All right, let's hit it with, let's hit it with the black. And then let's put a pop of that magenta in there. And maybe even a little bit of this coral. Let's flip that and let's put white that's left. I'm just going to take the paints that are left and put them around. The pour. I'm going to just use the knife to kind of do a little bit of a swipe off the edges. those corners that's what's hard is the to get it over the corner sometimes I'm getting some pretty cells just in that right there Okay. We'll see. Maybe um, too diverse, but we'll see. Let's go over. Right, I'm 
I'm gonna let I'm gonna let gravity do its thing. Let's see, I think I can. Just working on this edge down here. salvage any white. Do y'all hear a buzzing? Let's see what we get when we torch that. Maybe a hot mess that we pour over. Who knows? Okay, it's just something I hear. It might be the lights that I have on. Okay, so I want to, I want to get rid of some of it. Do I want to get rid of the black part more or get rid of the pink and orange part more? I want to get one to the other end, one way or the other. see a dragon keep it like it is but what if I hate it take away the pink okay I don't know how much it's going to move anyways it may not move that much
because right now my inclination is swipe the whole damn thing and lose it. Well, I'm not a big fan of black in pores. I think it takes over. You're probably going to lose your dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, should we leave it like that? With just that little bit of pink. Kind of a gargoyle. See, I don't see a gargoyle, but um, makes me think of like black lava beaches. All right, we'll leave it the way it is. Let's get a tray for this one. For that big tray. All right, I do want to torch it one more time, I think. There's a new dragon. I did like how this down here went pink and turquoise.
Can you see how that black I'm going to let it do just a little more of its work. It's not going to move much more. I like it better since that pink popped up over in places over here. Yeah, if it's if it's if you eat it, then it's then it's in your diet. Then it's diet food. Because believe me, I'm not drinking any diet, other type of diet soda or diet ice cream or fake sugar. Oop, that's got paint under the tray. Let me clean that up so I don't put it on something else inadvertently. All right, let me get rid of all this paint. See, this is what an exacto knife is for is when you need to make veins. Forget that cutting with it. All right. I'm going to try to clean my hands. Baby wipe or the baby wipes that I have right now leave a weird uh, sticky. residue. I need a, I need a sink. I want a big studio with a sink. Okay. All right, that's all the poor ring we're gonna do for today. Let's set that aside and let that dry. Who knows? It could become my new favorite. You never know. All right, let's uh, put some a little bit. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. All right, if we're going to do Tay Tay or start it, use the browns and the neutrals, and the blue teal. I really like moving how I moved my paints around because I have the like when I go to look for a yellow I have the whole range okay and I'm going to keep this fairly loose Today, I may even take it down to the table. I have that. I don't know why I don't really think of it. You know, I ought to I'm 
I'm thinking about taping it down to something besides the table. But now I can't find it. Give me just a second. <clears throat> Look for a mat. There it is. Because then I can turn it still. getting something on the I already did I got something on the paper because my hands aren't clean enough This is not working either. Let me wrap the tape over the edge on this. This board's a little warped too. Okay, let's start with the eyes. I'm just gonna start with the eyes. And this is just for play. It's not for anything. Okay, and then let's hit it with just a little darker. some of that out. 
get rid of some of that water. Let's get a clean damp brush. Let's see if I can lift. I need to move the camera in closer too, since we're done with pouring. But not too much because I don't want to have to deal with where the camera is. That should work. Ah. Hey, Judy. Trying to get some all right. Let's And since I have this out, I am going to use blues on this outside part too. Thank you. 
Okay. Take it back almost to the white. I like this down here. I want this to get Let's try drawing it. Bye, Sophia.
All right. Blues away. I don't know how I want to do this. Is Jean here? Hi, Jamie. I'm thinking I want to put the lighter color in and then come back in and lift and bleed and then go the dark last so I'm going to start with like Not gonna worry so much about the darks right now. I'm gonna put some of the lights in and let some of the darks bleed into those. in here because it's a lighter gray color. Okay. Oh. 
said so those are a lot of that's dark. some of this out. Lighter. Okay. Bye, partner. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Okay. Trying to get that gray in there.
Okay. You know, I don't really think there's a good black, real dark. I think I'm going to get my other set. And try this black. Right, and then I want a dark brown too. Oh, well, that's nope, oh, that's a green. Those are two reddish brown. All right, so we'll use that black. We'll add the black to that brown and some darker brown. Bye, Judy. Okay, we need a super dark brown. Add some black to that brown.
No, let's try. I'm going to try to see if I can lift some super straight lines. Out. Yeah, I know it's dinner time. soften some of that Get that little gray back. And then I need to pick up that blackish brown again. This, I may just get to a stopping point and stop.
hard not to get a reddish brown. You know what I'm going to try? Get some white. Right, I'm getting some gray from the other set. All right.
Thank you, Eileen. Let's uh, get a little bit of that color and a little bit of a, of a gray almost. It's too green. Probably, but we'll try it. I don't like that.
All righty. Um, and I might have to come in where some of the white and creamy are. I might have to come in with some Posca. Let's go up to her ear. And this ear is gray, like Bubba. Okay, and I'm going to come in with the darker gray. And that's a whisker, that's not her. Okay, let's try. Trying to lighten that just a little. water here. Okay. And I'll soften that right there. But that needs to be gray. It just needs to be a softer gray. Too much water in my brush is my problem. Let me get. I'll lighten a little bit of this up in a couple places if I can. Thank you. 
almost a blue in there. It's hard to get the brown without getting the red. I got a little blue in that. All right, I'm just trying to take this little bit of white and gray. Got a highlight back on the nose, sort of, too. Okay. We're getting close here, ladies. All right, we need gray back here. Behind this ear. Is great. Okay. Let's see.
kind of blend some of that right in here. Okay. Now we need, all right, I need some of that black. I am going to add some of that blue because the blue helped. That's what it needed earlier was that some of that blue. Actually, I need to take some of that more out because there's a Trying to remove that harsh line.
and I, I need a almost like a pink color here. Um, I'm trying a little flesh. It's better. There's a few places that it could use some lighter white.
All right, I think I need a little more gray up here. Trying to brighten up some of that, but I think I'm done other than the Posca for the some white hairs here and there highlight on the eye but I think I want to let it dry before I take the Posca to it. Clean my brushes, put those up.
I'm pleased with her. I wasn't sure if I could get that look. I think she's wide over here is the problem. Kind of almost need to maybe hit it with a little bit of a light gray even. Just to it's, I'm gonna try the light. A touch of the gray. Just to she need it just to, to make sure that it looks like it's painted. I think that helped it just a little bit. Yeah, her left check cheek is white, creamy white. What you see of it. Also, there was a little bit of a highlight up here. Like I said, I need to put some Yeah, that's the all I mean It's a really small area, so you're not going to get much texture. But I'm pleased with her. You can see up close, dot, a little more what I put in. It's probably hard to see. Um, might need to. It's really hard because I might need to hit it with a.
that might help. It's a little. But I could putz around and, you know. But then it will get less loose. So it's the likeness of her. And especially when it gets the white. Yeah, I think it helped just to have that little bit of. And I may come in with a little bit of. Um, uh, actually, I'm not. I'm just going to come in with the white Posca pen. Where the whiskers are. I'll make sure it's writing. The light. So I can come in and put the white Poscas in. Might have to open a new Posca. But I want it to dry. So I'm going to let that dry and then do that and sign it. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> That's your kind of cat. I have three, so. You would not do well at my house, Linda. I'm also going to come in with some black and do some of the lines here and there, like around her eyes with some white and some black um, micro pins and her nostrils and kind of get some areas in that I want to define a little more. But I'm not going to do anything with this, these lines. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. All right, guys. I will see you either. What's tonight? Monday. We don't have anybody tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Bye.